Hello isolation art school students. Today I'm going to show you my process of making a mixed media portrait, mostly in coloured pencils. So I like to find places from old photographs and Nick Hedges is a social documentary photographer who photographed British slum housing in the 60s and 70s, who I've looked at a lot in the past two years. I thought I might try this face today. She's got great expression and it's good to find images with lots of shadow and light so you can have some fun with the colours and the shadows. So when I start off, I try and sketch the head shape and imagine how I want it to fit the paper so that I can try and work to that proportion. Generally, things tend to grow as you start to draw, so it's good to leave a bit of space, but definitely go as big as you can. Then I find the lines that run through the nose, which help you find the angle of the head, and the lines that run parallel through the eyes bottom of the nose and the mouth so that everything is kind of going at the right angle. Then it's about finding those other main lines around the face. So always judging one thing against another, looking at distances between things. There we go, an eye in between two eyes is about the right distance. And just checking that things are kind of spaced, spaced out right. When things look like they're kind of in the right place, I'm going to do a bit of background colour here. I've got some brown ink, which I'll just block in all the main darks all over the face. You don't have to use ink, you could use watercolour or acrylic paint or even coffee. Yeah, some old bits of cold coffee to block in all those shadows before you start, just so you can see where those lovely dramatic lights and darks are and it helps give the background a bit of intensity and a bit of colour. You don't have to be too precise in any of this, it's just a process of adding and taking away all the time, so it's not too tight. Oh, and then I had an idea to do some, some mad red hair. I might make it dark later on, but it's nice to try to introduce some of these elements of surprise and challenge yourself and see what happens. It's just fun, after all. It's easy to get very serious and worried when you make up, but this is about playing. I was inspired by Toulouse-Lautrec for this technique. He had a great liney effect over his paintings. So the strokes of colour over the top, over dark areas of colour. I think he used thin oil paint to make the lines, but it does look like pastel or pencil drawn over the top. So I'm going to go in with some coloured pencils. You could limit your palette to two or three shades, uh, a dark, a medium or a light, or go wild with whatever you've got. I like to start with more shadows and blues and purples which are really really good for shadows. So I've got lines going lots of little lots of directions, short lines, long lines, curvy lines. Um, Adding in the reds here, red's really important to bring that warmth into the shadows. But try not to be too controlled with the strokes. Yeah, being quite scribbly, vary the tempo as you draw. Um, Toulouse a Trek definitely had lots of tempo in his works. Light, wobbly lines and thicker, more definite ones. You can also hold the pencil at the, at the very top or even in your other hand to drag it and shake it all over the place. Uh, so remember, it's okay if it goes somewhere it's not supposed to. Oh, now this is dragged forward a bit. Um, I actually got my next technique out, which was to get a bit of white paint. Uh, I felt it was a bit um, intense, that red ink around the eye. So I got some white paint, and white paint is brilliant for um, just knocking things back a bit and making corrections if you go wrong. And I think that's the main thing that I'd like to say here today, is um, when you think things are finished, or if you think things aren't very good, um, just keep going, keep going, throw something else at it. Really, really fun to just keep going and try some new things. Um, I think people get a bit confused about what mixed media is and really this is all it is. It's about, hmm, I'm not sure how this is working or I've gone a bit too dark. Uh, okay, I'm gonna chuck in some white paint or some white pen or white pencil or uh, maybe some 
oil pastel, something like that, something to take it all down a bit because I'm not really sure how it's going. You could even collage over areas that you don't like, stick a bit of paper over the top of it and work over it again, but keep going. Don't stop because you'll be amazed at how things can change if you really just keep on. Oh, here I've got a rubber as well. So remember rubbing things out, it kind of can soften those lines up a little bit when they've got too harsh. So rubbers are excellent to use. Yeah, and a bit of white oil pastel there just to like bring in those kind of bright highlights and uh, we're done. Thank you, Isolation Art School. That was good fun. Bye, take care.